In this video we're going to deal with uh, budget constraints and basically all you need to know is what is a budget constraint. So you have a budget. In this case I have a budget of $50 for peanut butter and jelly. And I know that each jar of jelly costs $2 and each container of peanut butter costs $3. And I'm asked to write an equation which represents your budget constraint. Well the budget constraint just represents your total spending. I'm going to spend $50 on peanut butter and jelly. So I have 50. That's the total. But that comes from two sources. I can spend it on peanut butter. I can spend it on jelly. It depends on which I like better. Um, and so what I do is for the jelly, it's two times the number of jars of jelly. Right. That's what I'm going to end up spending on the jelly, plus there's going to be $3 times the number of containers of peanut butter. Now, normally, we use variables for these. So maybe J for jelly. So instead of writing $50 equals two times number of jars of jelly, we just write 50 equals two times and then J for the number of jars of jelly plus three times maybe P for the number of jars of or containers of peanut butter. So this would be my budget constraint. That's it. It tells me that uh, it, how much jelly, how much peanut butter, and combines to give me my total budget of $50.